Guys, subscribe to my channel hashtags with Vichil and click on the bell icon to get notified regarding the latest videos. What's up, guys? This is Vishal back with another tutorial, and in this video, we'll be doing origami or DIY gift pop up box. So, without further delay, let's check it out. So guys, for this uh, gift box model, gift pop-up box model, we'll use 21 cross 18.5 sheet of paper. We'll have such multiple boxes made. So this is one sheet, we'll be replicating multiple such sheets. So first, you need to draw some lines. Basically, we need to cut this in a particular shape. So first, you divide this 21 centimeter into 777. Then we divide this as 1.5, 7, 1.5, 1.5, and then 7. So let me show you. I have one more sheet ready. This is a red sheet. As you can see, the lines. Oops, let me just focus and show it to you. Yeah. I hope you can see the lines. This is 7 centimeters, 7 centimeters, 7 centimeters. And this is 7, 1.5, 1.5, 7, and 1.5. And then there is a X drawn. This is, this is how you need to draw it. And then now what you need to do is you need to cut across these lines. Let me cut this and show it to you. Let me get my scissors. Yeah, it's here. So, I hope you can see it. Yeah. So, here we'll be cutting this. Cut along this line till here. Is how it looks then we need to cut along this X which is formed over here similar thing we need to cut it on this side this is how it looks after cutting these, now we need to cut it like this, this portion and here this portion, oops, let me just cut it properly, this portion, then we'll be cutting slight slit like this, similarly you cut it on this side. This portion will be pasting it and hence we are keeping it this way. Similarly, you do it on this side. Cut slightly like this. And you cut it here. And then we also cut it on this line. This is how it looks. Now, let me put all this aside. We need to fold these creases. So, let's fold it. First, you fold it like this. Here. Fold it properly. If this doesn't fold properly over that line which you draw, then you need to probably pick a scissor or a hard material and then you need to 
pick a scale. Let me get one scale. Yeah. So all you need to do is put it like this towards that line. Make a mark like this and then that will be you can easily fold it there as you can see. So let's make some marks like that. Fold it here, you fold it like this. This we need to fold it backwards, like this, and then put it like this. This will be folding it in this way. I guess we missed this line. So this is how we fold. This fold like this here. And this is like this so the, these are the let me just remove this this folds inwards this fold outwards like this these fold inwards and then this fold like a flip here and then this goes here and then this comes like this this is how we fold it so similarly we'll make uh, one more such material so exactly same and then we'll uh, stick those two to form one pop-up box. So let's get one more such design material or paper, whatever you call it. So guys, as we have this folded in this manner, we'll make one more, as I said. So I have it ready. Let me show it to you. Exact same replica of the first one now what we need to do is this this thing here over here we need to cut slightly let me get my scissors here basically in this portion you need to cut it like this and then even on this side so if you open it, this is how it looks. Similarly, we do it for this. All right. So now you need to keep this like this in this fashion. And then you need to stick this, this flap, right? You have this one flap at this point. So let me apply some glue. A 
apply it slightly and spread it evenly. And then we stick this here. like this okay, properly stick it ah, let me apply the glue again sometimes it happens like this but then it's fine because the these are the inner sides of the box so that should be fine yeah we put it here so let's do one thing let it let's put it like this yeah this this is a better way actually you can see it exactly matches the edge and then you have this press it tightly Keep it for some time until it dries up then we'll begin from there all right so now you have this sticked properly like this here now we keep it in this fashion and then you have these two folds here if you can see this these are the two folds what we do is we make a slight hole with this scissor you can use any uh, rounder or something basically a rounder is the best in such cases i don't have a rounder or a compass so i'm using this make it slowly don't hurt yourself make a small hole first like this and then you can uh, you know put a pen or something to widen the hole somewhere here at the center let me get a pen So you have these four holes now right so now we have holes at this point and this point let me get a rubber band so here it is let me cut it i hope it's strong enough so you need to cut this rubber band and then you need to insert this in these holes not going directly then increase the width of this hole slightly let's do the same thing over here So we need to tie a knot over here. Tie two, three times so that it stays strong enough. Don't break it. So now you insert this here 
and then we tie a knot here as well make sure you don't break it that's the only concern yeah this is how it looks now let's cut this additional bar don't cut it cut to cut i can just cut it like this Yeah. yeah so now you have a rubber band tied so you can keep it like this and then just hold it basically this is how you need to hold it, keep it. it. Won't be. It will create all sorts of folds, but then, yeah, you need to hold it basically like this. Hold it like this, and then we need to glue these two folds. So, put something to hold or tell someone to hold and then we put glue on these two sides let me unfold this first oops it actually spoils the shape sometimes but then it's okay let's put some glue here and here Overall, this entire thing needs uh, time basically because every glue portion, once you stick, it needs to be dried off and it's, it needs to remain stiff basically. Otherwise, this box it will lose its shape. So properly apply the glue and now let's try to hold that back. Oops, this came off. So let's again tie it. Not sure how this came off, but anyways. Okay. Put this and this will go like this. You have these. And basically you need to fold it like this. Oops, oops, oops not that easy definitely fold oh. sorry so let's do one thing let's put this way this and this we need to stick it yeah
finally and then similar thing you need to fold it like this you need to fold it like this glue it here and then you stick it this way so let's glue even this portions Hold it. Where is the glue? Glue is here. So now let this dry for some time and then we'll paste this portion to this edge. So let this dry and I'll be back. Right. So now we stick this portion, this portion. So apply some glue. And then we'll put this Oops, I think it went slightly left side. Arrange it properly. Otherwise the box, shape of the box will be degraded. So let's put it properly. Yeah, I guess this here it went slightly wrong, but that's okay. We just need to stick that at least properly and then that's fine, it's manageable. So now when it dries up, this is how the box pops up. This is how you keep it. We'll stick some photographs on these four corners here, here and two on this side but this is how the box pop as you can see yeah so this is the pop-up box final pop-up box basically which we'll be making so we'll make such multiple pop-up boxes and then we'll make a container to store all these boxes and then probably we'll, uh, while gifting it, basically you can apply your photographs on these four corners and then to all the boxes you can apply, you, make, you can make designs and then you can gift it to your friends, to your loved ones as per your need. So yeah, this is how it bounces. So let's make such seven boxes and then we'll make the container for those boxes. So I'll be back once I have seven such boxes. 
So guys, for the box model, we'll need some mount board. And as you can see, I have two pieces of mount boards and I have already drawn some lines. So let me tell you the dimensions. Uh, let me get a scissor. So this is four centimeters. This is 15 centimeters. This is four centimeters. So four plus four, eight plus 15 is 23. So this entire thing is 23 centimeters and this side it is 4 centimeters again 8 centimeters and 4 centimeters so this makes it 16 so this is 23 cross 16 okay and uh, we draw these lines and then we'll cut it along these so as you can see uh, this side one line we'll cut it let me cut it Till this point you need to cut it now since you have cut this side let's rotate it and then we'll cut this side here we'll rotate it and cut this side rotate it again and cut this side So this is how it forms and then we need to fold these lines like this fold it properly this is this extra part is basically to stick it here and to form a box so fold it properly this and then we'll be folding it like this basically so this will go in like this and this will go in and then we'll be sticking it and then we'll be applying some uh, gift paper we'll be wrapping this entire box with the gift paper so that it looks beautiful so this is the base of the box and then for the top portion we'll use this one so this is uh, 4.3 uh, mark these dimensions properly so these are this is 4.3 this is 8.3 this is 4.3 this is 8.3 and this is 4 so we'll be fold we'll be drawing these lines in that fashion and this is 15 centimeters so and then uh, what we'll do is we'll just fold it like this comes here this goes like this As you can see my mount board is not proper there are some patches but then we'll be putting a gift paper or a design paper and that will all go so this is how we'll be sticking our uh, cover we'll stick it like this and then this box right this is how it will be forming and this goes in like this basically so once you stick it in let me put it like this yeah so this goes in like this this is the box which will be using it for our gift box so let me stick the gift paper and then stick these parts here here as i have already shown it how to stick it so uh, let me decorate this entire thing and i'll show you the final gift box so guys uh, this is the box which we made and these are our seven pop-up boxes so let me show it to you the box 
is how I have uh, wrapped it up slightly larger but this is at needed so that we pull it from this side basically and then it opens up like this and we have these boxes I have applied this cardboard piece so that we can put our photos on this each cardboard piece like this but instead of this I'll prefer uh, I'll suggest actually to use a thick paper this this black paper as you can see is not that thick so your elastic rubber band might fold the paper so better we use a thicker paper but this is also fine so we'll just wrap our pop-up boxes like this and then as you can see the total thickness has increased a lot because of these cardboards also this became heavy so I'd su I'll suggest to use a thicker sheet instead of this cardboard but uh, for me that was not as thick so I am using a cardboard sheet so and then we'll put it here like this so this is our final box guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it this serves as a very good gift so go ahead and start making one for your loved one hit the like button share and subscribe to my channel and this is vishal i'll be back next week new content new videos stay tuned thank you